So, got something quite special today. Um, last year, a very good mate of mine uh, was diagnosed with bowel cancer, Mr. Brent Winmouth. Now, him and I have worked together for close to three years. Um, and it was a bit of a shock to a system because he is the hardest working person that you'll ever meet in your life. He's just always on the go, always happy to do anything. He just works and works and works. And he's over 65. So for someone to work like that at that age is just awesome. Now, he's always spoken about many things. In fact, he'll talk the roof off a house, to be fair. <laughs> but... He's spoken about this one car that he used to own. Really, really, really beautiful Valiant Pacer. Um, which I'll probably put a photo up of in a second. He's always spoken about it. He said he loved that car and he wished he never got rid of it. And it's his favourite car he's ever owned. Now, he's a massive Ford nut, just like myself. But yeah, he, he absolutely adored this Pacer that he had in 1979. He was the second New Zealand owner in Christchurch after the first owner was in Nelson. Now we'll fast forward a few years, in fact it was I think last week or the week before, when I was out at Matamata, the Matamata swap meet, uh, with a very good friend of mine. Um, I was walking around and I saw this Valiant Pacer, an orange, with a black stripe, and I was thinking, hey that reminds me of Brent's old one. So, Took a photo and sent it to him and I said, Hey Brent, thought you'd enjoy this old gem. He came back fairly quickly and replied to my message and said, Something along the lines of, Mate, that is gorgeous, but by any chance is the registration GH1922. Now at the time, I wasn't near the car, so what I did is the photo that I sent, I actually zoomed in on and... Lo and behold, that was the registration. And I said, yes, it is. Why is that? Is that your old pacer? And he said, lo and behold, absolutely is. So when I found out, I tried to run straight to the car um, because obviously I knew the car meant so much to him and try and find the owner. But unfortunately, the owner left with the car. So I was a bit stuck. Um kind of walking back to where I was and then it hit me I had a thought well what if I go to the organizers of the swap meet and ask them if they've maybe got some contact details because that particular swap meet you had to register your name and give a phone number and what car and what registration so we and spoke to the owners and described them obviously what's going on and they were awesome about it so it's a massive shout out to the um Organizers of the Matter Matter Swap Meet. That was yeah, that was really really good of them. Anyway, so I found the guy's name. Um, really really nice guy. His name's Bruce. Found his name, gave him a call, um, explained the situation, um, and what's really cool is he was absolutely open and happy as um, to help me out. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go to Brent's house now. Uh, the time is currently 17 minutes past 2. Uh, we agreed to meet there at 3 o'clock. So I'm going to go there a little bit early. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to surprise Brent with his old Valiant Pacer. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and it'll be quite cool. It'll be a quite a cool moment. One thing I forgot to mention. Because I'm going to go there initially and maybe stall them for a little bit, so... At that same swap meet, I bought myself uh, this book. XC Falcon Owner's Manual. Uh, sorry, not Owner's Manual. Service Manual. So I was speaking to him earlier today about it. <clears throat> I actually rang him and he said, Oh, I appreciate your phone call and it's cheered me up and... I love talking about my old car. And so I'm going to go and take this to him and we'll probably muck around for 10, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Yeah, the guy's gonna give me a call when he's around the corner, and then I'll 
try and figure out how to surprise them. I'm totally new to this, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Yep. And uh, yeah, you got the scanner, and of course, uh, you got know, like, Yeah. I just can't get over how that, that, about that Valiant. I cannot get over that. Yeah. I, yeah, oh, if only we could, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm so gutted I couldn't, you know, message yeah, the guy. Or... Yeah, the limb was glad because I wanted to go out there. <laughs> 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 That's it, we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> okay, so I got the phone call, and I've got them waiting by the front door, and I'm just going to walk to where the car is, which should be over here. see the carts in the distance so I'll just uh, try and wave out to him and see if he can see me oh yep yeah, cool so they can see me right now so I'm gonna try and run back as quick as I can <clears throat> and do something so the car's on its way up at the drive well soon not the driveway but Come outside, Brent. <laughs> you want to say hello? Oh, hang on, I'll just get my glasses. Yeah, you're all right. Do I have to look at someone? Or? No, no, come, oh. come outside. Lynn, come outside as well. Oh. Brent, I lied to you. Oh, how, how, I lied how to you, mate. You, how did you manage that? <laughs> my God, how did you find that? <laughs> 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 I, a man sent me the photo and I said it doesn't have to be GH9122 yeah. How did you do that, a man? <laughs> I'm sneaky, mate. You should know me. Hey, how you going? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm kind of doing two no, things at once. But... I'll be blown. All right, so I'm going to tell you a story, Brent. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's a one you could keep your mouth. Yeah, I, I, it was it was hard. It was very hard. So what I did is where I was at the Mount of Matter swap meet, and I mm -hmm. sent that photo to him. I'll show you the photo in a minute yeah, of your yeah, car. Yeah. So it was from the back. Uh, it was actually from the front. Sorry, it was from the yeah. front and. I didn't realise at the time, but he messaged me an hour or so afterwards yeah. and said, hey, is the registration GH9122 or 9122? I said, I don't yeah. suppose it's GH9122, I yeah, just yeah. registered. Yeah, this. and I said, yeah, it is. Is that your old pacer? Because we've spoken about it a <laughs> oh, yeah, hundred yeah, times. Yeah. He goes, well, bugger me, yes, it is. So what I did is I ran outside. You know how you were parked kind yeah, of yeah, towards yeah, the, yeah. the start? Yeah. I ran there and you were gone. Yeah, we left here. Yeah, yeah. So what I yeah. did, I did a sneaky. Yeah. And I was walking back, I didn't know what to do, and the idea popped into my head. How about I go to the organisers <laughs> and ask them, wow. out of the odd chance, can I ask you guys a favour? I explain the situation, mm -hmm. and um, they very happily gave um, Bruce's details to me, and wow. I rang oh. him up about five minutes afterwards. We had a big conversation. Are you in Hamilton? No, no, just, no, just out of matter, matter. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I did a retro check on it, um, and it was, it was in Palmston. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Time. Best way to go, Going back for a drive. You, you, you direct them, aren't you? Uh, oh, just because it's beautiful. I can't get over here. Nice all this is stable. Oh, at least I people have kept yeah. it, eh? They kept it. Um, mm. I yeah. felt downhearted when I uh, uh, gave that guy the photos because uh, you could tell that it wasn't knocked around by any means, but yeah. it was used, you know. Yeah. And I probably had too higher expectations that I'm expected to see it again like this. Like, 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 no, it only comes out of the shed. So I, I'm guessing you're a little bit happy there, Brent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to stop myself crying. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to stop yourself, mate. That's all right. Unbelievable. We were just talking about it on the phone, and you didn't even. No, no. You didn't even. I it thought on. I might have given it away when I asked you what you were doing today, yeah, Brent. Yeah, I thought it was a bit yeah. strange too, because. I... Oh, thank you, boy. So. Oh, that's great. No, this is good. Well, that went even better than I planned. Here's the pacer behind me. It's actually a really, really, really nice car. Um, wow, that's, yeah, you can't even get the smile off his face. He's in the house now showing the owner of the car, Bruce, um, some old photos of it from 
when he first bought it in 1978 or 1979. Um, oh yeah, that's just that's just cool. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. So I guess the whole point of me making this whole video thing and documenting is because you get a lot of people out there that do so much for people, you know, like without even a word they'll be there if you need them and I think for me you got to repay that um, not that there's a, a you know something you owe to them or anything but I think you know you got to do things for those people too because they're like the glue that hold people together and so I suppose with that that's kind of you know why I decided to document this um, and also you know, it's amazing what a car can represent it's amazing how happy a car can make someone so I think when someone asks me why do you like cars so much they just have a motor and you just jump in them and drive it's like well it's a lot more than that it's it's a life it's a it's a you know it, it's I can't even I can't even figure out words it's just so hard to describe but it's it's like children it's like one of your children really I mean you imagine owning this car 30 years ago never seeing it again and then on the off chance it turning up in your driveway all those years later it's yeah it's pretty cool and all the memories in it and yeah it's that's pretty awesome i mean it's yeah it's pretty emotional but it's pretty cool but i suppose that's uh what you do for your mates eh? you're always there for your mates regardless they need you you gotta be there and I'm sure that they'll be there for you as well when you need them when you know you need them obviously but cars are just cool <laughs> all right mate see you later bye bye How do you feel, Brent? That was out of this world. <laughs> that, was world. that was out of this world, mate. And the neighbours are probably going, fucking hell, I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. It's you all right. so clever. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe that you didn't tell anybody. I just can't believe it. <laughs> oh,